Hi guys, in this tutorial we'll teach you how to process an artwork into a carpet design. First, let's open up an image. We will use this photo as an example. You can try it with your own photos if you want, or you can download this image from the link in the description box below. We will rotate this image so we have a proper standing design. You might not need to do this with your image. We'll use the Deep Perspective tool now to crop and flatten out the photo. You have to select four points along the perspective of the photo using your visual instincts. You might not get it right the first time, but you'll get used to it as you practice. We'll talk more of this in another video. We will resize this image to set proper dimensions and desired rug densities. The first thing you should pay attention to is the resampling mode. We set anti-alias for the photographic image, but it should be set to normal mode for color separated images. We'll go with the 100 knot quality, which is 10 knots per inch horizontal and 10 knots vertical. And also make this rug a little larger, as right now it's too small. Now, go ahead and open Art to Graph to reduce the number of colors and make it weavable. This design should process in about 10 colors. Let's see how it does. Looks close, but I see a few colors are missing. Let's add those missing colors by clicking on the photo on the left. Keep an eye out for the processed image on the right. The missing colors show up as I select them. This looks good enough, we can move on to cleaning this design now. There is no set rule here, but we prefer to remove these single knots and then remove the islands. There are not many large islands in this design, so let's get rid of these areas below 8 knots. And let's refine it again. We now have the design with 14 colors. Let's load ARS 1200 colors. Let's map it to the set by colors and our design is ready. Do not forget to save your process design. Hope this video was useful to you. You can comment down below if you have any questions and we'll see you on the next one.